Did my minion point you in the right direction? He's a dutiful servant who lives to serve you. A properly beaten down slave is the only trustworthy creature in the galaxy. Your responsibilities will mandate contact with my various minions, meet my directives, and you may do as you will to anyone you encounter, adversary or ally. I work best when unrestrained. A lightsaber can only achieve so much, Apprentice. The most powerful weapon in a Sith Master's arsenal is information. I have painstakingly built a vast network of spies and operatives embedded throughout the Sith, Republic, and Jedi alike. I have fingers, eyes, and ears everywhere. Which am I to be? A finger, eye, or ear? You're my enforcer. Deployed to protect my interests, intimidate my rivals, and destroy my enemies. It's time for your tenure to begin. A military starship is touching down at the Car City cargo port, delivering a vitally important prisoner to me. You will meet Commander Lanklin at Docking Bay 12 and make sure he and his men successfully offload this prisoner. If you're sending me, you must be expecting trouble. We must always assume that we are being plotted against, especially when the stakes are high. The importance of this prisoner cannot be overstated. Go to the cargo port now and stay sharp. You are dismissed. Waste no time, apprentice. Meet Commander Langlin in the cargo port and make sure... Longi Lordo, he she check young that. What do you think they want? I don't know. When you get a summons from Imperial Intelligence, you don't ask questions. Of cake. It must be about that customer last week. I knew yeah, it. Yeah, but that Nobody buys that much job. ration paste unless they're up to something. And who sold him all that ration paste, eh? The same person who hid a tracer in the box. Just in case. <laughs> I'll take it back. When they call us in, you should ask if they're hiring. This is not your domain, Keeper. It is mine. It has always been mine. Of course, my lord. All you have built here, all you hope to control, it falls apart as easily as a human life. An hour ago, the Minister of Intelligence dropped to his knees and wept before me. You would do so too, if not for fear of being humiliated. 
Your dissatisfaction is clear, my lord. It will be remedied. Now I'm asking you humbly to leave. These people are suffering in your presence. I will leave my domain at the moment of my choosing, Keeper. You, Agent. You were the one sent to Hutter. Is that correct? Why do I feel like I'm about to die? Your body reacts to the power of the Force. The dark side twists you, taints you. I am Darth Jadus. You served me well in your dealings with Nemro. You will serve me well again. I serve Imperial Intelligence, not the Sith. All the Empire serves the Sith. Even your handler has learned this. Keeper, you will use this one. She will complete the assignment as I have instructed. She's quite capable, my lord, but she lacks experience. A more seasoned agent... I have made my decision. I wish the situation resolved before I leave Drummond Kass. See to it that my will is done. Very well. I'll make arrangements. Congratulations, Agent. You've made a friend on the Dark Council. I don't envy you. Believe me, sir. It wasn't by choice. I imagine not, but there's nothing to be done about it now. I want you outfitted and ready to leave as soon as possible. Grab your equipment from the lockers and meet me in my office. Once we're through with your debriefing, we'll discuss your next mission. Come in, Agent. Let's talk. Kaleo, wait outside, please. One of the watchers will handle your debriefing. We need to talk about my terms. I promise you, you'll be well compensated. You can discuss the details with the watcher. If you say so. You two have a good time. Sir, I've been reviewing the report of your activities on Hutter. You were busier than I'd expected. Are you going to tell me what Darth Jadis wanted? This is a debriefing. I'll ask the questions. You're extremely effective in your mission. However, you are unnecessarily bloodthirsty and violent. Our watchword is efficiency, not brutality. There's no place for sadists here, so I need to know. Why did you join Imperial Intelligence? Travel around the galaxy, lie and deceive for a living. Seemed like something I'd enjoy. I was afraid of that. This isn't glamorous work. We're sanitation workers. We clean up after the military and the Sith and do the jobs no one else will. Without us, though, the Empire falls apart. So we do whatever is necessary, even if it's thankless and ugly. You understand? Are you finished lecturing, sir? May I get on with my job? We're through with debriefing, for the moment. Now as to your next assignment. One of the mandates of our organization is to eliminate dissidents and terrorists within the Empire. We've located one cell of radicals here in the capital working toward the violent overthrow of our government. We must know precisely what these terrorists plan. I assume this is the task Darth Jadis mentioned? Although Darth Jadis has expressed concern over the cell's activities, your orders come from me. We've intercepted chatter suggesting the Radicals are planning a major attack soon, but we've only identified a handful of Cell members. You will investigate the Cell and obtain its plans. You'll have two operatives assisting you and full support from the Citadel. Cleo and I worked well together on Hutter. I'd like to use her again. I think that can be arranged. Watcher 2, please come to my office. Bring Cleo Danis with you. Watcher 2, huh? That's a pretty name. Is it Twi'lek? It's basic. Unlike many civilizations, the Empire teaches its children how to count. Watcher 2 reporting, sir. Kalia will be your aide in the field. She'll report to you and take your orders, since you seem able to handle her. I'm making you look good, Agent. You should be grateful. Meanwhile, Watcher 2 will be your liaison to base. She'll stay in contact remotely and provide you with mission details. I monitored the operation on Hutter. Very impressive. 
I look forward to working with you. Let's just be clear. I don't like being micromanaged. I'm the product of six generations of selective breeding. I can plot hyperspace routes in my head. I'm not some bureaucratic impediment. If you're done, could you sum up the present situation? Our primary lead on the Radicals is at the site of a slave rebellion beyond Kars City. You've been outfitted with all necessary equipment already. Once you're in the field, signal me via Holo Communicator and I'll brief you in full. If we're going to get the job done, it's time we got moving. Agreed. Remember, you're not undercover. Identify yourself as an intelligence officer if you need to, and use the fear that it creates. You're on Imperial soil now, Agent. Welcome home. Agent, I'm pleased to see you, of course. But I thought you'd be busy with the mission, just as well, I suppose. I'm still plotting the details. So, what can I do for you? I'm ready to get going. Brief me on what I need to know. I told you. I'll send you the details once you're on site. I promise I'm not trying to make your life difficult. This is procedure. Are you always so difficult? Look, I... I could give you the whole speech about how I'm smarter than you and more experienced than you, but I won't. We're going to have to work together as equals. I'll try to remember that if you will, alright? I'm the one out in the field, Watcher 2. I do the job and take the risks. We are not equals. Then get used to treating me as one anyway. For now, I need to get back to work. Yukaki mem panino. Am kabina pek memno kimgam. Umluk inu memno. Am kakam mem perolak palak. You're the only alien I've seen in Imperial Intelligence. Laboram Anka. Mamni Nikag. Nagnaya Mamni Kamgam. You must have licked so many boots to get where you are today. Jukaki Mem Panino. Am Kabina Bek Memno Kimgam. Raka Kalam Kala. Ninyak Oramag Yang Migik. We don't need freaks like you filling the ranks of Imperial Intelligence. Nulilak apajam kamgam. Amka nemnang. Ampa nemnang memua inok. You're the new blood? Hmm. We'll see if you work out. I used to be a field operative, same as you. Now I'm a fixer. I keep this place running. Not the most glamorous work, but someone needs to do it. We all find ways of serving the Empire. Of course, not everyone understands what service is really about. People here will tell you that the Sith interfere with our work, keep us always fighting with the Minister of Intelligence, that sort of thing. Maybe they're right, but it doesn't matter. Our job's to obey orders. Our job's to deal with the enemy. It sounds like a hard-line position. Then I'm a hard-liner. The Empire has a lot of enemies. The Republic and Jedi first up. We should focus on getting them, not fighting one another. Remember that, and maybe you'll last longer than most new agents. You're awfully arrogant for a glorified mechanic. I've got experience. More than you've got. Oh, hello. Sorry, I, uh, I didn't expect you to come over. You're the field agent from Hutter, right? I'm, I'm Watcher 3. Is there some sort of problem? Am I bothering you? Sorry, that's why I'm here instead of in the field. Not so good with people. Surprised I even got a Watcher designation. If I can manage it, I'm sure you'll get a title soon. Keeper's not fond of me. I won't be getting a title anytime soon. Keep is not fond of anyone. The day I arrived, he and Watcher 2 were interrogating my predecessor, the last Watcher 3. He'd worked with Keeper for years. He wanted to resign. It didn't go over well. Anyway, I should get back to work. 
I'm on surveillance duty and I don't want to miss anything. Right. 